we got all three bags set up. This one is perfect for the gym or travel. Honestly, I'll be probably using this for travel as well as the gym whenever gym opens back up. Just because it's just big, rugged, and I feel like you can kind of beat it up and it's it'll still look really nice. And this looks super nice right off the bat. And then over here is the 24 seven bag. This is the backpack. I love this since I'm content creator and stuff. I fit a full big 16 inch laptop with my iPad, mouse, whatever I need. It literally can fit a pair of shoes and outfit. So whenever I have like a little weekend trip or like a day trip, this is like the go-to suitcase with all my electronics and my clothes and gym clothes and things that I need. It has tons of room. And then over here we have the little 24 seven bag. This I personally started using recently because I got like a little fanny pack shoulder bag from Nike because I wanted something I could fit my camera in and my accessories wallet just whatever I feel like I had a bunch of mumbo jumbo so this came in clutch it's pretty spacious I can fit my uh, camera with the big lens and then a little lens as well as like airpods keys and wallet in here so this is perfect and I use this every single day to carry it out into my gym to carry all the things that I need you know the workout essentials etc so this is perfect for that and I absolutely love it you can throw it around your bag you throw it around your front or honestly even wear it as like a little fanny pack so yeah guys go check them out the quality on these bags are freaking insane and it's unmatched especially on the duffel especially on this backpack here check out the back there this also turns into a duffel bag guys so as you guys can see this zipper there and here I have a little hidden compartment to where the straps kind of hide away and then you can connect the sling that it came with which is also in here connect a, oh, I have a hidden masks, COVID season. Uh, but yeah, connect the sling and it turns into a duffel bag. This is perfect for like a carry-on bag, just everyday work, content creation type bag, gym, uh, and travel every single day. Just carry it around, throw it in your car, throw whatever you need, miscellaneous things. Yeah. Hey guys, it's freaking cloudy day vibe season again. Oh my gosh. Cloudy day vibes. Holy, it's freaking cold out here it looks like we live in the freaking colorado rocky mountains with it oh my goodness definitely glad i took advantage of lifting outside in the sun 70 degrees last night or yesterday because look at this this was unexpected there's even like snow a bit way up in the mountains i don't know if you guys can see that freaking nuts crazy all right guys so really quick i want to freaking show you my hands from yesterday you guys see that? Okay, hand number one, hand number two. Puss on it, guys. Like, look at this. I'm freaking not kidding. Oh. Anyways, five rounds of 10 bar muscle ups with some running mixed in there, and also a handstand push up variation. And your boy did all 50 muscle ups unbroken it was a huge win i have to give it up to the victory grips they helped out so much getting that little dowel effect the torque but i did end up ripping and i honestly i ripped on like the fourth set and i think it's just the way that i like had it gripped it was kind of like rubbing up against my hand and kind of like slipping kind of not really slipping but it was just rubbing on my hand in a weird way so i feel like it was kind of my own fault maybe i just need to adjust it but managed to do everything unbroken so i was super hyped and it was a huge win but now i got these little rips and i still got to work out today so we'll see how that goes but also guys 50 bar muscle ups later i am so sore from my biceps like my brachialis right here and the little tip right here of my bicep it feels like i'm walking around with a bicep pump like that's what it's felt like all day and it feels amazing not gonna lie but also my lats are so sore my back's been popping and cracking so i need to foam roll and do mobility before i get into the session uh but yeah speaking of hand care and on the topic um i got another little package from the people over at sandbar uh they saw the video and uh were super pumped on it so they wanted to send me their actual sandbar so i'm gonna go ahead and open it for you guys I saw this on the Victory Grips website also. I don't know if it's the same company or, or what's going on, but let me see what came in here. Sandbar, Sandbar, go check them out guys. Every callus uh, counts. Honestly, if you just lift weights in general, you need one of these things to help with your calluses and stuff. They have like a little tips and tricks and stuff, but basically that's how they want you to do it. So I'll kind of show you guys what it says to do. But, oh, they sent me another little guy. So 
That's pretty sweet. So they sent me a little guy as well. So now I have two. So this one will probably be giving away to one of you guys if you're lucky. All you have to do, guys, is leave a comment down below, screenshot it, and DM it to me over on Instagram, and I'll choose a winner in like a week or so. I'll give you guys both the mini and the solve because I already have one, and I don't want two, and I want you guys to see how badass these things are. But this is the sandbar. So it's big, sandbar. Um, let's open it, twist it, comes off. And there, it's basically the same as the little guy. I honestly, the little guy is so clutch. I love the little guy. But what they said is it literally mimics a pull-up bar and a barbell the exact same length. And this is that little, uh, the rubbing piece there, sandbar. You grip it, you grip it on this. And basically what the instructions say is to start off like that and rub. Twist toward your fingers. And then once you're done, finish by going like that. And then what you do, the last and final piece is you rub the sandbar solve and you can keep it on your keychain but the sandbar solve rub this on after it smells absolutely amazing it's like a little chapstick and then it keeps your hands nice and moisturized and prepped so good to go there sandbar guys go check it out super cool and uh make sure you guys go check out the little mini one as well so here's this original sandbar and then here's the mini Mini's magnetic throw it on your little keychain and you're good to go all right guys, so getting ready to go work out now. I'm uh, on the two shaker gang, shaker number one, the virus one. I got literally just water. I'm gonna be sipping on that during the workout. And then in here I have BCAs and the carb supplement that you guys saw that I've been taking. I don't think I'm gonna need it today. That's why I have them in separate shakers. But if I do, I might sip on it like toward the end. If not, I might just sip on it at the very end just cause it's like a good way to replenish my glycogen levels, etc. Also, I noticed that like one day I drank this like mid workout and then I was like crampy and stuff. So I'm fasted right now and I'm gonna try to keep it that way. So if anything, I might sip on this like at the very end. For the most part, we just got water, uh, stim free pre-workout, uh, pre, and then BCAs and the carbs for the workout. Oh yeah, just check it out. Got my camera gear, uh, headphones, little things like that that I need to film. Comes in clutch, man, because before I'd have like my hands super full and I didn't want to drop anything. And this thing is, it's clutch. These rips are getting a little ridiculous. Look what I had to do on this hand. And it's not, not even really helping all that much. So I actually decided to make the stupid move of half-assing kind of, kind of skipping my mobility, both shoulder and ankle mobility on a day that I had a full snatch. And guys, had a snatch, clean and jerk. It was horrible. So many reps were terrible. They were missed. Like, it was ridiculous. And I was super pissed. Like, I've never had like a more frustrating, pissed off session in my life than that one. And I guess it was just like a kick in the ass and re reinforcement as to why I need to do my mobility. I need to just nail that down. Um, so doing it today.
is a rapidy wrap on the power snatches, guys. Gonna move on to front squats now. Not gonna lie, that was 115. That felt pretty good because during a workout, well, I had a ton of reps of those. I think it was like one workout with like 15 at 115. It was like moving like pretty, it moved really well, but it was really hard. So this felt really good. And uh, yeah, now moving on to front squats. percent nothing crazy but it's feeling heavy but at least it's moving and uh yeah let's we'll see how this goes like little chippers kind of mental tests and it's literally like you just breathe breathe and move and i feel like the more you just move at like a, a good effort confident good effort rather than slow and just drag an ass because you're kind of just being lazy you just don't want to you're just not into it i feel like that's harder than actually moving at a steady pace and kind of embracing the stuck and the pain of it so just try to stay moving the whole time on the salt bike and then the burpee box jump overs they were good the whole time moved through them really really well but towards the end i was slowing down but i just kept moving that's the key and then the sandbag carry that's a little tougher for me 
because it's heavy and awkward and I have like small arms so I can't really grip it as much but I'm slowly figuring the thing out and I'm getting good grip on it so it's getting a whole lot easier did a few sets of that unbroken a few sets I had to stop at 50 feet because the box and the bike kind of like jacked me up a little bit but hey I'll take it I was happy it was like 23 47 was my final time I was trying to get under 25 minutes the coach got it in like 21 what do you get coach's time was 21 something yeah, coach's time was 21.15, so uh, about two minutes after him. So, not bad for the workout, I'll take it, and uh, yeah, and uh, yeah. All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. That's gonna go ahead and do it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Hope you guys gained some value from it. If you guys are looking to lose 15 pounds fat in the next 90 days, apply for my 90 day lean body aesthetics program. Link is gonna be in the description. If you guys wanna pick up any clothes, like the pants you saw there, the long sleeve, this same long sleeve, virusinternational.com, code SHOTSY10. It's gonna save you guys 10% off. It's gonna help your boy grow the breakfast club, baby. That's gonna go ahead and do it. Breakfast club CTG, we out the speed.